What's up guys, my name is Ace, and I'm all settled in here in LA getting ready for the COD Next event. And I thought I'd throw a quick video together because yesterday Call of Duty revealed an overview of the museum map, which we're going to have access to in the beta this weekend, as well as at the COD Next event, which I will be streaming on my Twitch channel tomorrow. So make sure you give that a follow if you guys haven't already. And here is the map overview of Museum. Now it's worth noting that the pro players talked about this map a while back and this is one of the maps that they really enjoyed. From what I can see here, it's definitely a general three lane map design, but with some complexity added to it. It doesn't look like it's a super basic, simple three lane where you only have like one option of cover on each end, but it also doesn't seem to be way overly complex like we saw with a lot of the Modern Warfare 2019 maps. And that's definitely got me pretty excited. It seems to be a nice happy middle ground there where it's not too simple, not too complex. It seems just right. Also, just today they showed a little bit more with the FJX Cinder Weapon Vault, which apparently comes with all 50 plus attachments already unlocked. And it turns out if you pre-order the Vault Edition of the game, you'll actually have access to this Cinder Weapon Vault in the beta. And with that, I've got some mixed feelings. It does feel a little bit like pay to win at least early on because you have access to all of the attachments immediately for this gun, whereas other people that didn't pre-order that version of it, they have to start from level one and unlock all those attachments. But when it comes to that, I guess it's more so you're paying for an early advantage rather than a full on pay to win. It still does rub me a little bit the wrong way, but I guess we'll just have to wait to see how it plays out. Also with Modern Warfare 2 news, if you are on PlayStation and you've pre-ordered the game or have a beta code for the game, you can now pre-download it and people can get in and see the menu, although they can't get past the menu. But it is worth noting that people have been able to get into some of the settings and an FOV slider was found on PS5, so that's now effectively confirmed. Hopefully we'll also see it for the older generation consoles. Maybe that'll be confirmed by the time this video goes live. And one last thing before I wrap this quick video up, I can now confirm that I'll actually be streaming Warzone 2 tomorrow alongside Modern Warfare 2. So the stream is gonna start off with Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. And then after that, we are transitioning into Warzone 2. So if you guys wanna see some Warzone 2 gameplay, again, make sure you follow my Twitch channel down below. I know I'm plugging it a lot, but I'm here at the event so I can stream for you guys and you can see that gameplay early. And that's gonna wrap it up for this really quick video with my makeshift travel setup that I've got going on here. Now, I'm really curious to hear what you guys are thinking about everything that we found out on this video today. Like, what are you thinking about the museum map based on the overview that we saw? And what do you think about the fact that if you get that FJX Cinder Vault, you get all of the attachments unlocked immediately rather than having to level up and unlock them for yourself. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.